Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April 10th of 2023 well, it is titled IC 2944, the running chicken nebula. So what do we see here? Well, this is what is known as the running chicken nebula. And perhaps if you look at it, you might see a giant chicken running across the sky. What it actually is, is a region of star formation, a great nebula. Now, when we take pictures of the nebula, there are two ways, well, more than two ways, but two main ways that this is done. And one way is to take it in real color. So you just take an image, what we call a wide band or broadband image that would look at the entire spectrum and get the actual colors of the nebula. Now, that's not always what we want to do. And in this case, you take it with specific colors, where in specific wavelengths, narrow band images, just at specific wavelengths of emission of elements and that highlights the gaseous regions and allows them to stand out a little bit better. So each color that we see is assigned to a specific element and would not necessarily be what you would see if you were looking at a, a broadband image of this. So what do we see here? Well, it is a star forming region. And we're in the process of forming a cluster of stars here. Now we can see various stages here. Uh, we can see stars starting to form at the center. So there are young stars there. But we also see a number of dark knots. Those dark knot regions are actually stars just beginning to form. They are in the process of formation and becoming protostars, which is the precursor to a star. And those will eventually finish condensing the star will form in the interior and then break out and we will have new stars added to the cluster. In the meantime, the dark, dense dust cloud around it shields it from our view and we'd need to look at it in infrared light to be able to peek through that dust cloud to be able to see what is happening down there. Now you see several of those at the center. You also see some more around the edges. So star formation is going on in many different parts of this cloud as the cluster forms. So while it, you think of it sometimes as the cluster forming all at once, really when stars start to collapse, the most massive stars collapse first and form the brightest stars, which then illuminate the nebula. And the later the younger, uh, sorry, the younger, the smaller stars form a little bit later, as it takes more, more time for those small stars to collapse down. So the stars don't quite form all at once, although on the grand scale of the universe, the cluster stars formed at essentially the same time. But the most massive stars do form earlier and other stars continue to form. So the most massive stars can have formed, gone through their lives and died before some of the lowest mass stars even actually become full fledged stars. So that was our picture of the day for April 10th of 2023. It was titled IC 2944 the running chicken nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be almost north. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.